guys coming to you from our uh, condo in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I just wanted to show you some uh, potted palms I brought over here uh, three months ago. They were uh, outside in my garden uh, on Bowen Island and in the winter time I would bring them inside the greenhouse if it got really cold and I decided you know they'd be a lot happier in a warmer climate so I thought I'd try them here inside the pool house the indoor pool enclosure and in our place in Victoria where the uh, temperature is about uh, 20 24 25 degrees Celsius and the humidity is like 80 90 percent in this building so they have all these tropical plants lined up here along the windows so I uh, offered to bring three of my palm trees which they were happy about so I brought this uh, tree of Washingtonia there's two Washingtonia robusta in there and one Washingtonia filibusta and the filibusta I believe is this one right here the shorter one so this is a cross between a robusta and a filifera and you can kind of tell the uh, fronds on it are, have a lot more hairs to them. And then these other two are robustas. And in the three months that I brought them, they've already put up three new fronds each. And um, compared to when I had them on bone outside in our garden, they maybe put out two the entire summer. So they're definitely responding to this uh, heat and humidity they have here. And the light from these windows is pretty good too. They get sun coming in from these windows. So that's the Washingtonia. I'm pretty happy um, about it. Doing well here. I also brought a um, Chinensis here. And this guy has also got three plants in this pot. This one I bought from like Home Depot a couple years ago. and. It looked a lot better from Home Depot, but as you know, they never look as good when you bring them home. And then I have this one planted uh, in this pot for a uh, few, few uh, years, and it was even outside during the winters, and I would only bring it in if it got uh, like a few degrees below zero. And again, um, a couple of months here, and it's already put out two nice big fronds. You can see the size of these. New spears coming up on all all the palms. Sure, new spears. So it's pretty happy here as well. So looking still not Chinensis. And then over here I had a tracky carpus fortunae that I have on the balcony here. Um, and I thought during the winter I didn't want to risk it freezing in the pot outside, so I also brought it to the pool deck. And in two months' time it's also put out uh, a new frond, a new spear shooting up. So also happy here. I would think the Atrachycarpus probably would be less um, enthused about the hot, humid environment, but they seem to be doing fine. And then uh, some other plants we have here. Uh, fiddle, leaf, fiddle leaf fig, some ag aguanemas, um, Snake plant, some ficus. Crotons here, and look at this croton. It's been here for several years, and it still has great color on it. And if you ever had a croton, unless you're in, in uh, the tropics or subtropics, they're really hard to keep uh, happy. They'll usually just go all green and then start dying out. But this one has got beautiful color to it still, and is clearly happy in this environment. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, if you have the conditions to uh, make these palms happy, um, it's amazing what difference it could make in terms of growth. Nice. Hope you're having a great day, and thanks for watching.